I am Sweeney Dunstan, and today we're going to be learning about the composter. So if you enjoy informational Minecraft videos and any other Minecraft content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get started. The composter. A new Minecraft block added in snapshot number 19W03A. This thing does pretty much what it says on the tin. As we can see here, I've got a pretty good variety of different little things in my inventory here. We can place each and every one of these inside this composter. And we're going to make bone meal with it. So we're just going to flow through here, go ahead and fill that thing up, wait one second, and we have the bone meal. When it turns white like this, it is ready. So just right click on it, it pops the bone meal out, and you are good to go. Now how you craft this guy is pretty simple. It only takes four fence posts and three wood planks so we're going to place the wood planks right across the bottom and then place the fence post up the sides and we've got the composter now we're off on to aesthetics we can put a lid on this thing with a trap door looks pretty neat and then we can also put an item frame on the top of it with a button in there just for a little handle now if you're wondering what all you can actually put in this thing it's a pretty big list so pretty much if it can grow in the overworld or if it's leftover food of some sort unless it's meat you cannot put meat in this thing but anything else can pretty much go in here if it's grown naturally in the overworld uh, you can put baked potatoes and things like that I am not going to name all these things off right now because that would just take forever uh, but leaves saplings and all that good stuff flowers it's all going in now we're going to learn what this thing can do with redstone. So we've got the torch here in the center, which is putting a signal out in both directions. And as we can see here, the empty one is not taking a signal and putting it through to the next repeater. Uh, same thing over here with the full one. It is ready for the bone mill to be popped out, but yet there's no signal coming through to the next repeater. However, over here, a button does absolutely nothing with putting the redstone signal into that piece of dust. Come over here, press that button, nothing comes into the repeater. Over here again, to the comparator, all empty, nothing's going through. Even if there's a redstone torch or a lever or button, something like that on it, things above it do not get activated. Now, as we've determined before, the redstone signal did not come out of it while it was empty, and it's the same story if it's full. So here we have one that's full that is got a repeater sitting out there, and there's no signal coming through that one. However, with a comparator, it does pull a signal, and it only goes eight blocks out. This is the ninth block, and as we can see, that guy is not putting off any particles, not lit up. So eight blocks out is the maximum amount you're going to be able to get with this guy. So we're just going to go ahead and break that one. I'm going to go over here to the wall, grab something random. Let's just go with a baked potato. And now we are going to start filling this thing up. It is completely random. Uh, this time it looks like, well, skipped one. Uh, but as we saw right there, completely full. And as many items as you place in this thing, it is completely random. And it's also based on the size of the item. Like, let's grab a mushroom and we will show that. So we place one item in. Of course, it's going to give us one redstone signal. Put another one in. There we go. Looks like it's going to be, yeah, there's two items on that one, three on that one, one on that one, and one on that one. Uh, but I have had it to where it would take about seven items before the next one would light up. So just keep that in mind. It's not going to fill up perfectly every single time that you place something in. For example, place one, and then another, another, see nothing happen, another, just like that. As far as farms go with these things, eh, we could do that. However, don't try to put a hopper into the side of it. It's not going to pull from the side. You absolutely must put the hopper above it. As we can see here, this guy is filling up, making bone meal like crazy. We got 14 in there right now, and I'm pretty sure if you were to place several of these in a line and feed them with some sort of an infinite farm, it would definitely produce plenty of bone meal for you. Now, if we go over here, I know how we like to turn them things off once in a while. Uh, redstone contraptions, at least. If you don't want anything going through, this is not the way to do it. Um, let me grab some of the stuff we put in this one, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Go ahead and throw these guys in here like so. And as we can see, it's filling up, and it is flushing out. 
So putting a redstone signal into the side is not going to stop it. You will have to put it into a hopper as expected, much like any other block we have in Minecraft. Some of you may be sat there wondering, does the composter block light? Here's the answer. No, it is completely transparent. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, everything we need to know about the composter. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so that YouTube lets you know when the next video comes out. But until next time, I am Sweeney Dunstan, and I'm out of here. See you next time.